Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an Eclipse project to compile and run the ultra messaging streaming sample applications. The two key points I'll focus on are the library dependencies for the new project and how to configure appropriate runtime options to allow the sample applications to execute successfully. Before I jump into Eclipse, please bear in mind what you will need to be able to complete this test successfully. You'll need a copy of Java Eclipse. You'll also need the documentation for either UMS, UMP or UMQ, as this contains the Java sample application. You'll need a separate Java API jar, or to be using the jar from your JMS UMQ installation. And you'll also need Log4j and OpenMTX external Java jars. OK, I'm now going to open Eclipse, and we can see that I've currently got no projects configured. I'm going to start by going File New, then Java Project. I'm just going to call this UMS Test. Hit Finish. And if we look in here, we can see I've got no source files and the standard Java libraries. The first thing to do is, is import the Java sample applications. I've installed UMS 5.3.1 documentation. If I look inside here, inside the doc folder, and then Java example. I'm going to go ahead and copy all of the Java sample applications. Just using Control C and then Control V to paste them inside my source folder. They'll automatically be put inside a default package, and we can see we've got a number of errors. To correct most of these errors, I need to import the additional libraries that we need. I right click on my project and click on properties, and then I'm going to add external jars. And this is where I add in my three jars, log4j and openmdx, and the UMS Java jar. And that gets rid of all of my errors bar one, and this is just as the LBM dump program is expecting me to put it into a different package. I'm not worried about that now, so I'm just going to delete that package, save it, and then we can see we've got a completely clear project. The final test is to see if we can get one of the sample applications to run successfully. I'm going to try the LBM source program. If I press the play button, I can see there's been an error. And in fact, if I scroll up, we can see that the usage of LBM source, we must supply a topic name on the command line. If you're not aware of how to do this with an Eclipse, you click on Run and Run Configuration. And we'll see the application we've tried to run, LBM source. I can click on the Arguments tab here, type in, in this case, the name of the topic that I want to send my data on, and I call it Test Topic. Apply that to save it for future runs, and then click Run. And now the LBM Source application runs successfully. We should see it run through to completion. Perfect. This concludes our talk for today. If you're interested in finding out more information, you can look in the Knowledge Base article How to Build Java UM Applications with Eclipse. And I've included the KB index here as well. And please let us know your feedback on this talk. Thank you very much for listening.